All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Scuff Works RC. I'm making another attempt. It's late, roads are empty, weather's good. There's some Mortal Kombat stuff going on over there, but it's quiet. It's weird, like you can see the lightning hitting the ground, but I'm not hearing anything. And of course, a car's coming, so I'll cut right back. All right, road's clear. Here we go. Pulling right. I don't know what's up with that. I don't like that. See what happens. Yeah, that didn't feel right. I, I pulled out of it. I think I hit full throttle, but it didn't feel right. Something, something's not right with the car. I so started veering. I didn't want to hit anything, so play it safe. All right, 87. 87. I don't know if you guys can see that, but nothing groundbreaking. But <clears throat> I think I'm gonna piddle around in the parking lot here and kind of tweak the alignment. I think I know what the problem is. It's rear shock, the one that I blew out. Uh -huh. It's actually sagging a little bit lower than the other, than the right, than the right side, so. All right, back with Sir Cogsworth. I think I got the alignment issue sorted out. I'm just uh, veering to the right a little bit, so. Make one more pass here and see uh, if we can pull any good numbers. I think I'm gonna have to end up gearing down. Real touchy. Uh oh. To make it quick. I have to abort this one because I got somebody coming. Joys of speed running. Alright. I think it's that road crown that's pulling it left there. Yeah, that car pulled out last time, it made me nervous. Decent. I don't think that was a hundred though. <clears throat> Got 87 there, we didn't even top the last speed, so. Huh. That's all I had gearing up. And up in the KV is not helping, so I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna do my temp checks real quick. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to gear down. I mean, the motor's not real hot, but ESC 100, 120, motor 140, batteries not even 100. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the 40 tooth and uh, see if that helps my mile an hour because. It seems like the car is just over geared, but I would think over geared would be lower than one to one. But I don't know, I'm new, I'm learning. So, yeah, 
I don't really have to reset this GPS. It just it resets every time you turn it on or zero it. So. Yep, we're going to be back out of here again. So no crashes. That's a good thing. No crashes and no damage. So. Gotta look at the positive. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.